Hi everybody, Guru Bob, and welcome to day six of module three for the challenge in 2010. Three more Web 2.0 platforms for you to create sites on today, Blogger, LiveJournal, and Zanga. Just like yesterday, not so concerned um, about the aesthetic aspects of those sites, although you may wish to sort of put some attention onto those if you wish. We're more interested in just showing you quickly where to go to set up those sites and uh, where specifically to go to engineer that all-important keyword-specific backlink. So, let's get started with Blogger. Okay, quick, ch quick check at uh, my um, Guru Bob blog, Blogger blog, which is uh, on um, gurubobsblog.blogspot.com. You can see again, same posts as before from Posteris. And uh, in the top right hand side here under Guru Bob's links, I've got, uh, I've got my links to the various sites that I want to throw some attention on. So that's what we're hopefully going to achieve today in this video. So where do we have to go? Well, um, so we go to www.blogger.com and that will bring you to this page here where you can create a blog. Now your blogger blogs will be tied to a particular Google account. So if you have created a Gmail address for your niche or you created a, a Gmail email, then you'll be able to use that Google login. And if you don't have a Google login, then uh, then you'll need to create one. The easiest way of doing that is to, to is to create a Gmail address. So I'm just going to sign in here using our challenge account. And uh, after I've done that, it's telling me that I need to um, uh, to sign up for, for Blogger, of course, which is a, a Google service. Um, name used to sign your blog post. So I think what I'm going to do here is use a, um, uh, a nom de plume in, in, in effect. Um, yeah, I have to accept the terms and service, and I do want some email, email notifications. Click continue. Then it's going to ask me to name the blog. I'm going to call this the challenge blog. Okay, so I had to go through a few uh, tries here to get an address that was available. And rather like WordPress, most of my sort of preferred options weren't available. So I ended up using the same uh, prefix that I ended up using at WordPress 2010 TC before I could find an address that was available. So having done that, I can click continue and here I get to choose a template. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you choose here, something that, um, that it is that you're happy with. Uh, I think I might go with the simple one here. And, uh, and the blog has been created. So at this point I can either start po posting or I can customize how the blog looks. And I'm gonna immediately go and customize how the blog looks. Okay. Um, see here underneath here what the blog is going to look like uh, the template I'm happy with I'm not going to change that at this stage uh, the layout is fine I've got a header graphic I've got blog text and I've got a right sidebar which is fine I'm not really too concerned about about that what I really want to get to at this stage is how I can add some links to this to this blog okay so I ended up clicking on the design link and uh, came to this um, area here and you can see that uh, there's a, a WYSIWYG feature here which allows me to to modify the layout of the blog and you can see on the right hand side currently the, there's um, a follower function there's a blog archive and an about me section here uh, but I can also add additional gadgets here on the blog blogspot blog which is what I want to do so I'm going to click on add a gadget and scroll down and you can see that there's a link list here so if I click the plus button then um, I get to add some links. So I'm going to uh, uh, add a link. I, I, it tells me how many link, no, how many links I um, I can add. Um, in this case, I'm just going to add the one just for now. But uh, here I get to add the URL, and here is the anchor text of that URL. Add link and save. Okay, 
So having done this, I should be able to save. Now I can click on the view blog link. And indeed, here's my blogger blog. And you can see at the very top here, I've got some links. And uh, there's my link back to the site that I want to generate links for. Again, of course, there's nothing here at the moment. There's no posts. It's just a blank blog waiting for content. But the most important thing is that you set it up with the link pointing to your site. All right, so having done that, uh, of course, we have to go back to Postress and, um, and add that service. I'm just going to show you this once more again. I'm not going to do this for the other two sites I'm going to demonstrate today, but I thought I'd, I'd do it again for Blogger. Uh, click on the Add a Service. You can see Blogger is an option here. Um, uh, your full blog will get posted. Just click link and we'll prompt you to log in and choose which blog you'd like to connect. So I'm already logged into my Google account, of course, because I've, you know, I've, I've, I was basically setting that up. So it already knows that I'm going to grant access to Postress. If, you, if I had multiple blogs, there's a drop down box here that I allow me to select which site I'm giving an access to. In this case, this account only has one blog associated with it. This is only one option here. Click link. And that's now been successfully added to the Postress account. Fantastic. All right. Well, that uh, shows you how to sort of create a blogger account and set up your first blogger blog. And in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a live journal site.